Hi guys, welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. Today we're going to be building a shulker loader, the one that you see right behind me. It's going to be short, it's going to be quick, it's simple and cheap, and it's extremely reliable. You can always build this as a standalone unit or in line with several in an array. It's very, very useful little shulker loader. And let's get started. All right, let's get going. You're going to need one tile or one block in depth, five tall, as well as in general, eight wide. You could theoretically make it seven wide if you don't put a button, but we're gonna make it eight wide. Let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and build the back end of the machine first. Oh, I just noticed we're missing something. So you start with a block of redstone and then a regular block. We're gonna put two redstone dust on top. Then we're gonna put a slab right under here with a comparator that is going to be sending a signal towards that block. Then we're gonna put in front one of our pistons, a block on top of the piston. Although we actually wanna possibly first put our observer, it's gonna be facing the line, and then we're gonna put the block on top. All right, block on bottom, and that is the back end. Now here comes the front end, very quick. So you can see this is very, very simple. We're just gonna need a dispenser, a couple other items. Here we go. Had to move some items around. So let's go ahead and begin by placing our comparator down here. We're gonna face the comparator towards the hopper is gonna go there. We're gonna put a block there. We're gonna put a block above. And then we're gonna put our dispenser right against this block. We're gonna put oh, a block underneath the dispenser. Then we're gonna put some temporary blocks here because we need to place our hoppers. Oops, did not mean to do that. <laughs> we put a button right there. Yep, forgot the torch. So let's go ahead and grab a torch real quick. The torch is interchangeable. You can see that later. We got the torch right there. And now we need to place our last hopper. Sorry about that. And this hopper really is gonna need an exit. You definitely don't wanna use it this way. And this is it, guys. This, this is all there has to be. Now, sometimes you may have an issue where if you break a choker, it may get trapped on the hopper above there on the side. This is very rare, but it does happen. If you are suffering from this problem, it's a very simple fix. Just break that right there, place a block, remove the redstone torch, remove the other block, and then just replace that right there for a little bit of redstone dust. And that's gonna do the same thing. It's, it's definitely nothing changed. You can put a hopper right there to feed your chokers. And this is it, guys. This is, this is ready to go already. We can go ahead and test it out. All right, there she is, ready to go. So we're gonna go ahead and test this sucker. As you can see, I already primed it. We got some chokers going. We're gonna go ahead and start putting some things into this machine. As you can see, things are already popping. We can see the machine already starting to read with a comparator in the back. And eventually the choker will get filled, broken. Another one pops out. There we go. And then the, the thing repeats. We'll go ahead and put another choker above with some more items and let's go ahead and send them through and as you can see the machine is just filling the chokers below mind you you would want to put this on a farm or maybe as part of your storage filling capacity but yeah that, that's it guys there's, there's really not much to it she is already working i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial Please like and subscribe and follow me because we're going to be doing more tutorials. We're definitely, you see down there in that little bottom, that's the tunnel board we're going to be doing a tutorial for next, as well as a big mop farm that produces, or sorry, not mop farm, must farm, produces tons and tons of bone meal. Yes, like and subscribe and have a blessed day.